and post C3R nearly 8 to 12 months post cross linking we are doing a fakey cardiac implant the patient has a fakey cardiac with minus 7 diopters of astigmatism now we are going in for a customized IPCL the advantage of this lens is that it is number one customized and it is made to order with a prefixed astigmatic astig collection and you don't need to dial this lens if you dial this lens you just need to put it at 0 180 now these patients are fit keratoconus patients are fit for a fakey coil implant in conditions where the astigmatism is regular patient shows a significant amount of improvement with glasses on astigmatic correction and the astigmatism has shown some stability over a period of time now this is the PCL minus four with seven diopters of cylinder at sixty degrees. Cornea wet. Watch light ko dekhenge. Now, when you are planning a toric IPCL, especially in keratoconus, it's a good idea to plan a slightly higher vault. But the caveat here is that in keratoconus patients, you may get an abnormally high anterior chamber depth, which will be false. That is because of the keratoconus. So few salient points you have to see in a keratoconus patient we are doing a uh, fake lens is you have to look at the clear lens as lens rise. You have to look at the angle. The angle should be higher. Light ko dekhenge nahi bachche aap aap ghuma diye. Bachche aap aap ghuma diye. Roshni ko dekhenge. And there you are. So the angles on an average any fakey lens will reduce anything between 15 to 20 degrees of angle so your pre-operative angle has to be approximately 40, 40 degrees plus so I'm rotating now if you notice I'm not touching the central part of the lens The axis alignment has to be very, very accurate. Put some myotic pilocarpin. Normally, I don't put pilocarpin, but in these cases, since we are planning a slightly higher vault, the lens during irrigation aspiration will have a tendency to vault out with due to the fluidics. Now, salient features as I discussed. The patient should have improved vision with glasses after correction of astigmatism. Stable astigmatism, stable refraction, post keratoconus C3R. I normally wait 6 to 8 months before we plan a fake lens implant. And teen chamber, chamber depth has to be kind of built-in calculation. Don't go in because normally these patients will have a very high anterior chamber depth. But that is more so a false reading because of the steep cornea due to keratoconus. You must keep in mind the angle. The angle at 0, 180 should be ideally above 40 degrees in most of the cases to make sure that there are no later complications. Planning a slightly higher vault in these cases is a good idea because the astigmatism is very high in these cases 
and even a slight amount of rotation can cause some visual disturbance to the patient. So you apply in a slightly higher vault. I apply in one size higher in IPCL which is 0.25 millimeter higher than what I would have normally done for a normal case in my keratoconus patients which gives me a very very secure vault, stable vault and a stable refraction over a period of time. And there we are, the surgery has gone off perfect, perfectly centered fakie lens. We have already operated the other eye and the patient is 6-6 six, six parts in that eye, unaided. Again, it was a similar kind of a power, approximately minus 5 with 7 diopters of astigmatism. Patient is practically spectacle free now and there everything has gone off perfect. Thank you.